Dynamic UCS is great for when you want to draw on the faces of 3D objects, but uh, what happens when you don't want to draw on them? That's where regular UCS comes in. With dynamic UCS, I can draw a circle here, and here, and here. But what if I want to draw a circle in this orientation, but way over there? Similarly, another problem. We have a sphere. Dynamic UCS will let me draw a circle perpendicular to whatever point of the circle I'm on. As you can see, that blue z-axis moving around as I move the cursor. So I can draw a circle like this. But what if I want to draw it at a different angle on the sphere? UCS is an acronym for User Defined Coordinate System, which is a fancy long-winded phrase meaning drawing plane. So this you know as the UCS icon showing you the directions of the positive XYZ axis. Now to use UCS, you first turn off dynamic UCS on the status bar, and then you enter in the UCS command. You can see it has a uh, bunch of options, and these options help you place the new UCS or the new drawing plane in 3D. The easiest one to use is F for face. So I'm going to enter in F and ask me to select entity. So I've selected that face and I press enter to accept it. Now when I draw the circle, well it still can be on this face but it also can be way over here and it's still the same orientation. Look at the 3D model from a different angle you can see it's all in that plane. In fact, to help visualize where that plane is, you can turn on grid mode and it will show you that plane. Another one of the UCS commands easy options is view. And that's where the uh, drawing plane will mimic the view you see. So you can see here the UCS is showing the uh, odd angles that the UCS currently is at. Enter in V for the view option and suddenly you see the working plane is snapped into place so that the X and Y are where we expect them to be. Now the UCS is meant for use in 3D modeling but it does have one use in 2D drafting. Now if you wanted to draw an outbuilding that uh, was parallel to the property lines, that's the red lines in this drawing, how would you do it? Well let's see what happens when I enter in the rectangle command. Draw a rectangle and nope that doesn't work. So let's reorient the uh, UCS along the property line. Enter in UCS command, and then I'm going to use the entity option, E. And it's asking for an entity, so I'm going to choose the line. And now you can see the UCS icon has reoriented itself. Now let me try drawing the rectangle a second time. So now when I draw it, its sides are parallel to the property line. With the UCS at some wonky angle, you probably want to reset it back to normal once in a while. That's done through the UCS world command. And there you have it. The icon's back where it ought to be. Mm -hmm.